Jeremy and Aristea, the evidence comes from a neighbor's surveillance camera. Police have asked us not to discuss it or show you this video just yet because it's part of their investigation. And to make sure we do nothing to compromise Gannon's search, we will abide by that. But let me just tell you this. We've been out here outside of Gannon's home staking it all day. And just a few hours ago, a crimes team came with gloves, stayed for hours and recently left with bags of evidence. As the search continues for 11 year old Gannon Stauk, investigations center around the home he was last seen leaving. On day seven of his disappearance, investigators walk inside with gloves, leaving with evidence bags bigger and bigger with each trip to the Metro Crime Lab van. There's a lot being done behind the scenes, um, especially from the investigative side. A few doors down, neighbor Roderick Drayton's doing some investigations of his own. Couldn't sleep, so I just stayed up and just kind of just kept looking through. I looked through it on my tablet. Then I said, let me come look on the TV to make sure. What he found, police have asked us not to share yet. This is something that the detectives are, are looking into and it would be considered part of our investigation. First thing in the morning I got up, I went and showed Gannon's father and then they called the investigators. What did Gannon's father say? What was his reaction? He just broke down crying. Drayton says detectives were moved by the footage too. They came right away. Mm -hmm. Wow. Did they say anything? It's the break they needed. Do you feel that you're getting closer to, to answers? You know, I, I don't have that answer. I don't know. Yeah. But I can say that, that um, this is being worked tirelessly and, and 24 hours a day, and we're not going to stop. We saw them hard at work here just a little while ago, and everyone's really just hoping to get Gannon home. As soon as we get the green light to show you that video from the sheriff's office, we will right away. Again, we do not want to compromise anything in this timely investigation. Please also want you to send any tips you have to them directly. Do not send it through Facebook. And they have that number for the tip line on our website, kdvr.com. Reporting live in El Paso County, Nicole Fierro, Fox 31. Yeah, we just hope to